Hmm? I'm not exactly able to. I mean, kinda can, but... I'm not playing StarCraft, oh my god. Oh yeah, I can get rid of that now, too. Friends... Look at that. Looks fucking beautiful. Zero dropped frames. Everything is smooth. I approve. And it's streaming in 720, which isn't the best, but it's not the worst either. to do though. Man, I guess I could go quest. Although Streamjar should have posted that I was streaming to my Twitter. Actually, I know what I need to do. I need to go to Canarthi's Roost. And I need to farm more. I need to farm those fucking. You need to farm more farm. Yeah, I need to farm more. Less. You need to farm on another. Oh god, I've got. 25% frame drop. Thirty one per cent. Do this to me. Actually, no, I'm not gonna, because I can just edit it from here. I keep forgetting I can... Elder Scrolls Online. Done. <sighs> God, Canarthi's Roost. Here we go. I already know where I'm going, but there's a place you can go to quickly level up Thieves' Guild. Well, quickly is also subjective. Look. Look, it's a little Chuck Wallace. And I also have a little Chuck Walla following me. I'm surrounded by Chuck Wallace. <laughs> oh no, anything but that. You'll be judged over and over again. Alright, frame rate. By the face of reason known as Chuck Walla. Frame rate drop is going down, thank god. That's a good thing. It's like a tornado. Hmm. It's just a shame because I have no like real control over it. After I get over here, I'll, uh... Ooh, you have a sheep with you. Time to commit the carnage. Why am I detected? Stop detecting me. Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not no fugitive from the law or anything. 
Dude, there's nobody up here. Yes, good time to farm this area. Oh, I stand corrected. Well, of course they detected me now. I just dropped him to his knees and killed him. Then you just steal all the guts in the world. Out of range. Magicwala. I wonder, can I use one of these attacks? Yes. Guess that's not going to be a thing. And here's where it gets a tiny bit boring now that all the sheep are dead. Well, mostly dead. Darn, 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 darn. What? What are you doing? Talking to your face with my fist. Sounds like usual. It is usual. No. Turtle nanny stuff. Weird faces. Hmm. Love how it just says streaming. Doesn't tell me what I'm streaming, I'm just streaming. Probably. Uh, I used to be hype. There we go. Alright, so while I'm waiting for them to refresh, I'm gonna take a look at this real quick. Somewhere in here there should be a thing that allows me to see what I'm working with here. Uh, You know, you make some of the weirdest sounds ever. 
leaving, sorry. Man, it doesn't really bother me, but... I'm not everybody in the world, either. Shit. Okay, yeah, that's a... That's, that's a... How long are you guys gonna be awake for? Well, yep, for a while. Wait, 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 dude, come back. Damn it, here comes the part where everybody's gotta fight over fucking sheep spawns. Won't you be my neighbor? Dude. Guts do I have? 98. I need like three more of these. Three more of these farms. No, just uh, any mode that you can do. Alex, you need a new headset? Yeah, I do. 
Notice, if you will, I'm running on earbuds with a microphone attached. Hey, thanks for the follow. <laughs> oh, it finally showed up. Yep. Well, I got a notif I got a notification from uh Zillcraft four hundred, which is the name of my bot. That do the do. Oh my god, you actually show up in the viewer list. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. So now I know my bot actually works. <laughs> I've stolen items in my in my inventory. Thanks for the notification. That's that's great to know. You better not come over here stealing. You better not go killing my sheep. Kill my sheep and I'll fucking, I'll, you know, I'll fucking ruin your day. Alright, that's enough to start doing this again. Hey, buddy. I know that I'm detected and all. Damn it, I could have blade a load him. Oh, wait, I did. Sure, I'll take that. So basically, you have to take out these two guard guys, these uh, these sheep herders, before you can go about slaughtering their herd to steal their guts and game. And then it doesn't particularly do anything for you personally, but what you then do is you go back to the outlaws' refuge, sell all of the stuff. Or rather, fence it, because it counts as stolen items. You fence it to the Thieves Guild, and it ups your uh, ledger domains. You're basically your your market haggling for Thieves Guild, and it makes it more lucrative over time. But Zill, what could somebody want with a shitload of sheep? All kinds of stuff. Yeah, the... Uh, can I what? Dude, Blade of Water. I love Blade of Will. It's one of the most interesting parts of this game. Is the assassination mechanics. Because unlike the Blade of Will in regular... Uh, this one counts as a spell. So... When you use it... It doesn't... It basically guarantees a one-shot. Which is absolutely amazing. So it's my connection, but I keep I uh, sometimes I can't hear you. It's my connection, you know. I'm not one hundred percent certain. It's probably connection. Keep breaking up a little bit on my end. All right, so chances are it's it's probably on my end then. Oh, he's occasionally, occasionally just a little, but not enough to. Yeah, it's it's not like you're going all Roboto on things. This is funny because I'm a I'm a double dagger bow build, right? And the only time I ever use. I'm um, playing Elder Scrolls Online. 
but um, it's funny as shit because the only time I ever use my bow is whenever I'm farming sheep because it allows me to fucking get quick kills in. <coughs> ah, vape. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to see my comments, right? What's going on? I'm like on full bars and I, I can't hear anything. That's weird. Oh, I'm using an invisible loot, apparently. <laughs> I used to be senpai like you, but then I took care of the knee. What the fuck? I just fucking blade of wood you and you survived it because you were on your auto run. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny just watching them all fly down. Just fall down, sheep. I wonder if I'm. Wonder if I got enough now. There's a what? Hmm? Oh god. I, uh, I have that actually, I think. Beauty, beauty. Do? Yeah. I don't know if you can stream that one. I don't think it lets you. I don't think Twitch allows that to be streamed. Yeah, Twitch won't allow that or, uh. Second live. Or Queenie Pop. It was Mass Effect, but you know, GTA. Twitch is just a hypocrite. Twitch really is, yes. Sellers in some ways. Yeah. Ooh, I've got enough stuff to go back to the thing. What's what? Look, sounded so adorable. I was confused. 
Glub, Glub can be adorable. Occasionally, yeah. He does the adorbs. Oh my god. I have somebody conversing with me in chat! Oh my god! He doesn't know what to do. No, I really don't. for the part where I have to go to this place and this place. And that place. Even though I don't have a bounty on me, which means I can actually take my time about it, but doing it this way allows you to quickly go to the Outlaw's Refuge in this area compared to just kind of fucking around. So it's cool because the people that you murder, you get loot off of them, which you can sell. And then you also get to loot the uh, the sheep. So it's it's nice. Decent way to it's a decent way to do thievery. And literally being over here to the outlaws refuge without running into any guards. So it's a quick, cheap way to handle it. Oh, my Todd. Is that a Todd that I hear? Too bad. Is it? Because I, I, I can't, I, I can't look at. Uh, it is. I can't look at the legend. <laughs> oh, that's worth two hundred gold. Real voice of who? But here, well, I kind of know, and then I can respond back to it. But then, like, there's like two voices. So I'm watching the. What are you hearing? Oh, uh, if you if you're hearing me double, uh, turn the stream down, and you'll hear me like live chatting on Discord. Your stream can actually hear all, all of us, huh? Mm-hmm. And that concludes what I can do there for the day. Now I have to wait twenty fucking hours. Uh, Twenty hours until I can fence more guild, fence more goods. And I did all that without putting a bounty on my head. Then I can come over here in the guilds. The guilds that I wanted up myself. Oh, no, no. Okay. Damn it. That's not what I was looking for. Shit. Well, I have a 26 coin bounty. This my connection going so bad. I can't hear anyone. My mic bars are like totally green. This is trolling me. It does that. Mine will do a uh, thing where it cuts in and out randomly. Who are you? It's Todd. I'm the one true Todd. What is Todd? He's the one. 
what's a Todd? <clears throat> is, it, is, it, is it some kind of uh, baked good? No. Nope. Some kind of grilled item? It's just a Todd. I think it's a grilled item. Fence! Pay my fucking... Pay my bounties. It's just, it's a Todd. Yeah, Royal Dish. Same thing, right? What the fuck is it? What the hell is going on in your pants? It's just Todd! Todd. 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 What? What? Don't, don't say it. It can't be loud. My room is stupid. Don't say it. Todd. To vent the stuff. If you're too loud, man, I'm sorry. It's fucking blue! Are you sure? Are you? No. I'm never sure because I leave my, my mind open for other possibilities. You shouldn't do that, it's dangerous. And it gives you rabies. Why would it give me babies? I said rabies. I don't give babies according to some bitchy. Hmm. It was someone else when she was actually dating me. You're a toenail. What is going on? A whole bunch of insanity. We'll drop oh, you guessed wrong. 400 into the bank. Leaves me with my standard 286. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like the furthest thing in the world from sexy, but that's just my opinion. I'm bringing Mexican back. What do you want from Taco Bell? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take a 15 pack of tacos, even though I can only eat like half of one. Oh, not even a full one. Yeah, pretty much. Get wrecked, kid. But that's good because it means it'll last longer. This fucking lettuce will be brown by the time I get around to eating them all. <laughs> you fucking you dance when I tell you to dance, you fucking... Okay, yeah, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and... All right, I got my Thieves Guild shit out of the way for now. Now I, now I don't know what to do with my life. What's this? This looks like fun. There's a thing you do over here. Discord trolls everyone. Hello, thingy dude. What is this? Is this player housing? Yes, it is. Why do I keep seeing a bunch of female on your head? That sounds crazy, too. Joy. No. You keep being sorry, I'll come back and get here. 
requests later. For now. Uh, Todd, the sky was blue. I'm just gonna get back into Hearthstone a little. Hmm. I'm gonna get back into Hearthstone. I was actually debating getting into it as well. I I had an on-off relationship with it. Well. The fun thing is, is uh, Deal Me In Games is apparently becoming an actual uh, place for fireside gatherings. Is it? Yep. What do you mean? Uh, not fireside gatherings, like actual Hearthstone. They're they're doing something with Hearthstone competitive, or they're getting ready for it. Oh, that's cool. So, I think the way it works is when you. What's the word I'm looking for? Hey, it's easy peasy on my viewer list. Sup, bruh? Is that who I think that is? Might be who I think that is. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm I'm hype as shit for the Guild Wars expansion as well. Like, I know I've been playing a lot of ESO, but whenever that drops, you can probably bet you're gonna see him on Guild Wars a whole fuck ton. I have to buy it with Thorns, but is that because it's actually, like, horizontal? Fucking Heart of Thorns is a, like, just a vertical mess. Yes. But, Heart of Thorns was okay for a first expansion as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just it could have been a lot better. They could have. They kind of pushed it out, too, because people wanted one. Even though they took their time releasing one, but once they started developing it, they developed it really fast. Look, it's a Chuck Walla. Once they announced it, it was like out. That's kind of what they did with Top Fire, too. They announced it, and it was like instantly out. I had to save that. No, it actually looks to be like a really interesting system they have going on. Not but like the mounts aren't going to be all the time, right? Oh no, no, no! You'll have to summon them out of it. Yeah. But I just wonder how they're going to have you summon it. Off to Hughes Bane. Uh, just going to be like how you do fire. Chuckwala! Yeah, Josh, if you want to, you can, uh, you can join us on Discord. We're all just kind of fucking around. Wow, I, like, actually got a kind of little, little community thing going on here. So definitely whenever Path of Fire drops, you'll be, uh, you'll be seeing me stream that, too. Streaming and recording. It's not possible. It's impossible. I'm running on like three hours of sleep, and I'm like, yeah, shit. This is, this is ESO. Like, I mean, I love ESO. Like, Guild Wars, Diablo, and ESO are my three main games. At least for now. Oh. You're interested in the video. Oh, yeah. You're wondering what the uh, thing is that I'm vaping out of? I bet. Here's the part that people get tripped up about. My vape itself is just a Sigali 75 watt. It's old as shit at this point. But this, I call this my vape silencer. It's literally just a fucking straw with one of these things on the bottom. I'll see if I can... Yeah, it's got a, it's got a gasket around it. And it fits perfectly in there. It allows me to it allows me to vape while looking like a douche. Yeah, what's the point of putting a silence? What the fuck? I don't know if it like actually silences it in the stream. 
<laughs> but it's funny as shit because like to me it's a it's a lot quieter than like actually like And it tastes better. It's a known fact that things going through straws taste a lot better. And this coil's like two and a half months old, so it's actually because of the fact that the oxygen reacts with your taste buds in such a way or not with your taste buds, but your you actually taste a lot more through your nose and the oxygen will actually help it get in tune and, and the fact that you're using a straw which is notorious for using a lot of air will actually uh, get air in there and help you taste whatever you're drinking. Yep. Fun fact. Todd's got it right. That was a long-winded way of saying straws make things taste better. Well, man, that's the why. Learn something new every day. And whenever you're not using it, all you gotta do is just prop it up over your... Over your dick? Yeah, pretty much. Just prop it up over your uh, ear whenever you're not using it. Although... Sam was very adverse to it at first because she's like, why the fuck are you doing that? It's so stupid. And I'm like, uh, it really is, but it's really fucking useful whenever you want to vape in your car because then you can just pop the straw out the, out the like the crack in the window and just blow all the vape out the window. <laughs> and I just blow my vape out the window. Like, it was funny as shit because like I'm finding actual use cases for this. Wow. Like originally it is a joke and now it's just like it's a thing you never see me without what I call the final straw I don't know if I'm proud of you or very disturbed and upset with you <laughs> I'm proud of myself because like it's just it started out as a troll on my girlfriend because she bought me this uh this cup for congenital heart defect awareness and that's what the straw came from the cup's sitting up in the fucking cupboard, but I use the straw on a daily basis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's like, you don't even use the cup, you use the straw. <sighs> I mean, I might be on to something with it. It doesn't, like, actually, like, it kind of functions as a silencer compared to, like, doing full lung inhales whenever you're just... You heard. It's like this compared to, like, the full-on, like... It's a lot more subtle compared to, like, traditional... I mean, I still get the, I still get the sound. It just, it gets it to the point that it doesn't like, it, it doesn't bother people as much. On. Uh... I don't see why sound would bother people, to be honest. Have you ever had to? Have you ever heard the sound of people chewing? Yeah, Asuna does it all the fucking time. Oh my god, that's so true. It's my version of Gandalf's pipe. Gandalf. And literally, I'll, I'll sit here and be like... Now just note that that, that that is like, it's loose. It's not in there, like, it's not secure in there, so... It's loose. Oh, it's loose, alright, baby. <laughs> it's definitely loose. It, it it doesn't plug the hole properly, but it does it does get it to the point that we're not gonna have any vape coming out of here, so it does it good enough. It, it creates it creates enough of a seal around the actual mouthpiece that it doesn't uh <laughs> You shall not play <laughs> Already did. Already did. Alright, so since this is turning into a full on discussion, I'm just gonna like. About vaping. About vaping. Oh, uh, slash coin. Oh, God. oh damn it.
Every, everybody knew this was happening. And here, I'll show you what I mean by this. This game is... This game is literally built for roleplay, given all the fucking gestures and emotes you can do. Give me more gesture. Yeah. What? Although, getting it lined up is a pain in the ass. But when you do, it looks fucking glorious. Glory Let's grab that as a screenshot there. Do it to me, baby. Do it. There we go. Do it. But yeah, like I just, I finally started getting back into streaming in YouTube. A level 48 on what? You're a quaggin. You're a quaggin. Quaggin tails, yo. Oh wait, you have ESO? That's fucking awesome, like, I'm trying to like... <sighs> you see, while we're also working on Guild Wars, my cousin and I are also working on a guild in ESO that is actually supposed to be a lore-friendly roleplay guild. Based loosely around thieves and assassins who worship the Daedric Devil. Prince Nocturne. Nocturnal. I was hoping they worship the Devil. Who is like the patron saint of. The Devil? No, shut up. <laughs> who is like the patron saint of uh, assassins and thieves. But the general premise to this point, to what I can tell, is. Um. Like, Sithis is, of course, the Dark Brotherhood. You know. Oh, nice. Sithis is, of course, the Dark Brotherhood's god. But Nocturnal is essentially... You know, the... the... It's kind of difficult to explain. But anyway, it's... It's decent. <laughs> oh my god. So we're kind of trying to figure out if we can build a roleplay guild around the concept of the Order of the Nightingales. Which are basically, yeah, which are basically, as you know, Nocturnal's protectors. Also, the other thing I love about this game is you don't need shit I should turn my UI back on <laughs> oh no why is it not working? whoops I might uh I might have I might have fuckered up a little. Oh, tell me more. Oops. Uh, I don't think Nocturnal is a vampire goddess specifically, but I know she's definitely. Um... Wow, my UI is completely fuckered. So let's. All right, maybe a relogs in order. Yeah, I think it relogs in order. Go back to character select. Uh, you actually get your first house, which is like literally a fuckboy shack, for free. Here, I'll show you the. Hey, Cola, you should look up uh, Ashes of Creation. Or Ashes, uh, yeah, Ashes of Creation. You might like that MMO. The other game I was looking but I'll show you I'll show you the fuckboy shack cause, and then I'll show you the next room up because I ended up purchasing that there we go now I got my face back 
but here, this is what I was trying to do earlier. If you have air, spawn one. Uh, somebody killed the fire breather. Like this this game was built for roleplay. And it's a shame that the RP community and it kinda like they didn't exactly go south. There are people that still roleplay. But it's not as heavy as it used to be. Nice wolf. Oh yeah. No, nah, Guild Wars 2 is like literally ERP and that's it. Fashion statements in Woohoo version 2. That's 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 why I was like it's either our ERP or not much anything else. But Oh, there is. Habib me, there is. Wait, can you spawn cake? No, you can't spawn cake. I can't. Uh, although, I do like an eating emote since I got the thieves, the assassin thing, or the thief thing. I'm gonna sit here and peel my apple real quick. Anniversary cake. I didn't know. Is it an emote? No, it's not an emote. Oh, it's a collection. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get that far. Like the only memento I actually have is uh, that's the only memento I actually have. Is the the cog firework? This is essentially what it is. Uh, what was I gonna do? There's something I was going to do. I forgot what I was going to do. Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next year, more like, uh, I don't know, I like it. Whenever my cousin got back into the game, he kind of like dragged me along for the ride, and I was like, all right. <laughs> but... I got absolutely no problem with this being one of my primary games. Like, I fucking love it. This and Guild Wars and Diablo, whenever I feel like playing it. But, yeah, I mean... Next year, definitely. Now that I think about it, if it's an, if it's an anniversary event, then it would make sense. Yo, Josh, why the fuck ain't you following my Twitch? Like, come on, man, you slacking. I'm gonna stare awkwardly. But usually, if my stream's decent enough, I'll uh, upload the videos to YouTube as well. Shit! Let's see. You collection. I'm glad that I got the little Chuck Walla, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to show you the fuckboy check. Duh. Actually, before I do that, I'll show it to you in here. Because <laughs> you can rename them. This one's Skywatch Apartment, and this one's literally Fuckboy Shack. Hey! Thanks for the follower. Or thanks for the follow, man. The hell is that he moved? <laughs> Bless RNG. 
are in Jesus, man, are in Jesus. So in each of the different factions, you essentially, in the primary starter town for that faction, the inn, uh, you essentially get this for your player housing. And you have to furnish it yourself. That's why I bought the stool. Like, it's not much, but... What? Oh, yeah. And they give you a candle. You get a candle. But what I ended up doing before I realized that this quest was actually a thing... Um, is I went and got the barbed hook private room. And literally, that's why I call it the fuckboy shack. Although it's more or less the fuckboy room. This, however, is a slightly larger version in a different area. And by slightly larger, I mean... They pack a decent amount of shit into this little room. Oh, yeah. And I had to put Chuck Walla here. <laughs> yeah, right. This is the other one. Oh, yeah, and I got this dude. You know what? Okay, put the knife away. Chuck Walla. Yeah, this is an actual like room that you can get as player housing. Uh, the plus side is player housing teleports are free. They don't cost any gold. Yeah, they don't cost angle. Uh, let's see, how much is this? I think this, uh, It didn't cost too terribly much. It's like in this range, so how much would that be? I know it costs crowns. I think it cost me like 700, 800 crowns fully furnished. Now me, what I want to do, I'll take you guys there real quick is I want to get this place for the guild. Uh, let's see, purchase options, furnished is 16,300 crowns. This screams Thieves Guild. This, this is a fucking cavern is what this is. I wonder if you can view this while it's completely, uh, where is it? Yeah, I can't show it to you with the completely furnished, but goddamn, it looks amazing. 
when it's completely done. This. <laughs> Let's check. Purchase options F5. Oh, yeah, I can preview it furnished. Cool. And while we're at it, furnished is 16,300 crowns. So let's do some quick math here. To buy crowns, Steam only allows for 5,500 crowns at a clip. So 23.99 times, let's say, four. Because why not overshoot? $95.96. But unlike Guild Halls and Guild Wars 2, once it's furnished, which you can buy outright, It's, it's a decent little area. Oh, and on top of that, I think this whole cave is actually explorable. That'd be a yes. Is that a quaggin? That would be like, it's absurd. But, I mean, think about it. You get your own fucking grotto. <laughs> you can host killer swimming parties. Or pool parties. I'm not sure how far this actually goes, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna give it a check here in a second. But yeah, if there was a place of preference, it'd be this one. Ah, uh, you can't get over the rocks. Damn. Oh, nope. Oh, but you can go up around the entrance, which is cool. So basically you get your bedroom there, which that's one hell of a master suite if you ask me. And then primary guild area. I don't know, for some reason I made my uh, my thief character, my wood elf. Sometimes that text cloud gets in the way. But, yeah, back to... Back to the fuckboy shack. Oh, oh what? Hey, Blurry, what's up? Yeah. 
double check. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this place a homage to Chuck Wawa. Put that there. Browse. Behold, Chuckwalla. Oh, yeah, I'm still in edit mode. Duh. And that pretty much put it better. I keep waiting, like, one of these days, Stuga's gonna walk up and be like, Do you have any idea? I don't care how long you've been looking for me, and if you were murdered, if you were able to be murdered, I would murder you. Like, I tried. Yeah, no blade of will. Stop, citizen. You violated the law. <laughs> no, no, no. That that freaked me out whenever I heard that the first time because there's uh, an NPC in the starter area for the Wood Elves, and uh, she is one of the guards here. And she goes, "Stop, citizen!" to try to get your attention for a quest, and it's like, no. <laughs> No. Bleep, bleep. Uh, Mr. Treehouse Fur is doing GTA RP. I still haven't even started the main quest. So is it like Elder Scrolls? Yes. Very much so. Is it a perfect Skyrim Online? No. But it doesn't have to be either. This fucking... And stay out of my fishing area. Where's the fishing hole? You fucking... Took all my fish. Oh. Uh, take that too. And that's what I thought. That's a fairly large ship. You uh taking off? I wonder what's out here. Hmm? He said, um, I think I may have to bet it's like 12. Uh, it's only 3.33 here. Alright, man. Sleep well, and we will definitely talk to you soon.
there it goes. What's that? That looks like something. Peace Ming. Wonder if you can get on top of it, if you can get on these ships. So, <sighs> Is it the same dude. That's way too meta. Shit, detected. Apparently stole his wife's ex-wife's handkerchief. Kerchief. It's not rag. Yeah. We'll claim it's a snot rag. I'm pretty sure it was for something else though. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I can do that too. But I'll look more badass doing it because I got a Chuck Walla. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, basically, that is exactly what I was thinking. Peace, fam. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Okay, so we've uh, we've learned that Zill is a mass murderer. It's always a good thing. At least in game. <laughs> uh, he is also the uh, the gaming Gandalf due to the uh, the vape mod. And uh, the first house you get is definitely a fuckboy closet. The second place is semi-respectable. I mean, whenever you're role-playing as a thief, you don't really need much more than a hotel room. But if you're running a guild, you need a headquarters. You need a fucking cavern. You need the bat. Hey, cool. Hey, get back here. Alright, I think I'm actually going to kill the stream here. Blurry, I'd really appreciate a follow, man. Uh, not to assume genders. But, uh, so did you. <laughs> yeah, we're all politically correct here. Yeah. 
Actually, originally I was going to make another side guild and call it PC Gamers Politically Correct, and it was going to be the most raucous bunch of assholes in the world. I like it. Do that. <laughs> and, like, have it, and, like, take yourself as, like, a Tumblr arena group, but, like, actually a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah, right. That would be kind of fun. Ah, oh, jeez, it just hit me. My bed's been a mess the whole fucking stream. Oh, well. All right. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I actually really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> that's rude. That's so rude, Todd. They're not my followers. That's a good point. They're not your followers. Oh. As G Storm 13 approaches, I mean, I guess I can stay on for a couple more. Make things a little interesting. Let's see. Treasure maps. Cool. So, uh, this, this woman's snot rag is worth 100 gold. I wonder why. Probably because her snot is. It's. Portable chamber pot. Oh, God. I'm literally walking around with somebody's shit can. <laughs> that gave me the giggles. Um, let's see. And I can go take a look for. Let's go with Canarthi's roost. go take a look for things that way. That shit pot is worth 40, yep. Yep, a shit pot is worth 40. Kind of kind of gives you a new appreciation for shit rolls downhill. Oh look, it's it's on the beach where those things were. Let's go treasure hunting. Like, I'm willing to bet that it's over in here somewhere. In fact, probably right in this area. I better get something worth some decent gold down. It's not going to cover my travel expenses. Not like Guild Wars, which is like, at most. Like 28 silver to get somewhere. This is like, oh no, you need 86 gold. Yep. But to be fair, you also get like 300 gold per story mission done. Or not story mission, but per mission done. Fly, Epona. This shit's still. Yep, it's aggro. It's it's a rabid Chuckwalla. Chuck, don't become like that. All right, so I'm willing to bet that this thing's over here. We still need to work on getting favor as well. Where is treasure map? Because I'm willing to bet that that's the shipwreck. Maybe not. Is there another one around here? Yeah. Over Dar. I 
I'm looking for like a pile of mud. Oh! Found it. Further proof, that's the thing over there. And hidden treasure. Cool. How much is it worth? Barely enough to cover my, barely enough to cover the travel expenses. And then get something out of it. So. I guess in terms, it's back to the fuckboy shack. Because those are free teleports. We should get people on that too. Definitely whenever the expansion comes out. We're getting ready for the expansion. Which, to this tune, it actually works out because if we hold off and we just collect favor up to that point, we can look into the new guild hall. Hello, Chuck. Chuckwala, what wisdom have you? That seems mildly threatening. G Storm, what's up? I might scare the shit out of myself to play Bioshock after this. Definitely Staying amnesia. Remember? Okay, yeah. I'd be kinky, but I'm not that kinky, Todd. The Dark Descent is kinky? What? Hmm. Yay for rendering lag. But yeah, Guild Wars is definitely one of my focuses. Taking a small break from. Like, not too long of a break. But, giving myself a little bit of time to refresh before the expansion. Stealing. Oh. You can uh, get me gold for these things. That'd be great. I'm just under where I started. So I can actually fix that real quick. There we go. That's about all I can see. You know what? I never use those fucking things. So get rid of them too. Cool. I made profit. It's going to be a little bit boring. I'm just going to actually run all the way up to my second place of residence in game. And then from there, I'll probably end this stream and then switch over to something. Or something. I've also got my friends doing a uh, Minecraft stream on YouTube and Twitch. Well, I'm doing it on Twitch and just putting the videos over on YouTube whenever I'm done with them. Uh. 
And they're looking for more people to play. Which is kind of cool. But it's like an actual crafting survival series that we're doing. Using um, Crack Pack for mods. I'm surprised the stream's actually going pretty well so far. Like not, uh, not in terms of like viewership, because this is the first time I've actually had people interacting with me in chat. Um, but more or less in terms of like my graphics quality on the actual stream itself. Like to my knowledge, I think it's doing pretty good still. No. I just horsed that person's head. I'm not proud of what I've done. Oh wait, who am I kidding? Yes, I am. Alright, so I made it to the midway point. Of... Is this Midway? Yeah, this is Matheson. This is halfway between Volkelgard, which is a really weird town name, if you ask me, and Skywatch. Cause here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. Actually, that's more like the three quarter way point because where I'm going is coming up pretty soon. Like that way shrine in the upper right corner of the mini map is the outside way shrine for the city. And I'm pretty sure that just following this road leads me to where I'm trying to get to. Home sweet home. What I find it kind of funny is uh, Josh, you're like, oh, I'm thinking about going to bed, and you know, you're still up with us. Hello, Chuck Waller. I'm actually going to use a picture of the the Guar as my uh, thumbnail for my ESO videos. Anywho, uh, I think I'm going to cut it there.
Uh, to those who did tune in, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, to those who didn't, uh, I can't really blame you. You had no idea the thing was going on. So expect more videos. Guild Wars 2 is definitely on a come up. That's for sure. ESO is still around. As well as whatever else I feel like fucking around with. Alright. So with that, I think I'm signing off this stream.